to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to Dreadpath Zone. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we have a very exciting game of Dead Zone. I know Firefight's all the hotness right now. I know that. Trust me. We, we know that. But Dead Zone's also the hotness. Can't be sleeping on Dead Zone. Uh, this is the official launch of the global campaign, and so we are going to be taking part today. Um, I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask me, um, either through Facebook or at Kings of War tournaments or getting into Dead Zone, and they all want to know how to build their starter set strike team. So, like, if you buy this box, what to build. This is my personal take on what I would do uh, for just a nice list of variation on both sides. And so all the models you're seeing today are from the starter set and only from the starter set. So we didn't branch out and do a bunch of crazy stuff like we usually do. A um, little different for us, this is only 150 points, so that's also a little switch up. A little, little bit more on the low key, um, but you know what's not low key is this board right here. I went all out, spared no expense on the uh, accessories and little doodads and things. Uh, huge shout out to Steve for the terrain uh, from his Tyco Kickstarter, uh, so I think that's all wrapped up now, but there might be late pledges or whatever, but yeah, we're going to be using that terrain, we're going to be using the terrain from the starter set, and then just whatever else I have, because, you know, I can't. I, I can do miniatures as, as just the starter set, but I can't do just the terrain from the starter set, I, I gotta expand, so, you know. Uh, yeah, so today, I'll be bringing the GCPS, and I have Veerman, and we're going to be playing Deep Strike, so that's a different scenario, we have actually not played this one before. Uh, it should be pretty fun. It's mostly killing stuff, and then there are some four-point objectives across the board. And in addition to that, we are going to be playing the campaign rules. Uh, so as part of the entertainment district, there are scavengers running around picking up assets. And so that will be represented today by this little robot guy. Basically, at the end of round one, he shows up randomly on the board, and then we try to capture him. If you get him, he's a bonus for victory points. Uh, this is all on the campaign website, which you should totally check out in the link down below. Let's get to it. Kicking it off with the GCPS. I've got a Corporation Marine Lieutenant, so not the Ranger Lieutenant and not Therese Washington, despite the model. So she really just has a pistol, but that is my leader today. I then have three Rangers. A fourth ranger, this guy's got the sniper scope. Nifty little conversion on him. Following that, I've got four veterans today. And then I've got a dude with the grenade launcher and a dude with a flamer. I'll be using black dice and the black command dice. The Veerman hot off the presses. We have the pack leader. I'm too stoked to put him on the board. Uh, if you look very closely, he has a really tough chain. What can we say? He's got cheese in his name, like Chuck E. <laughs> Next, we have four stalkers. Two of them have combat knives, um, one of them being Mac the Knife, because of course. And then just for ease of understanding, the guy with two pistols is going to be the second model. Uh, next to them, we have two crawlers. <clears throat> Pretty run in the mill. Then we have two nightmares, one with a heavy chem thrower and another with twin combat drills. And then rounding it off, we have two malignous models, one with a chem spitter and one with a chem thrower. And this is the cyberpunk city of Magnetard. This is in the entertainment district just south of the stadium. And yeah, there's tons of shops, little, you know, kiosks and vending machines and neon signs and ramen and shots and all kinds of stuff. So uh, today we've got our setup here. Uh, the big cool objectives from Firefight are very easy to read on camera, so hopefully it's good for you guys. Uh, and so basically, wherever we end up deploying, because we haven't actually rolled for that yet, uh, the opposing side of where we deploy is the objectives that we are able to claim. The ones that are next to our deployment zone are not claimable. And yeah, this is the board today. It's totally decked out. I'm very, very proud of it and the way it turned out. Let's roll some recon. Let's get into Alrighty. it. Recon roll time. I've got the black dice here. I got the blue dice. We're both on five bucks. Yeah, yeah. 
That was pretty mid. Mediocre. So we have to do it again. Weak. Weak. Uh, uh, that was horrible for me, well, so that's so looking pretty good for you. Uh, oh, Tim man. wins by three. All right, we are all done deploying, scouting, and aerial deploying all over this thing. Uh, because of Tim's awesome recon roll, he got to move up three guys. He picked all his big, nasty fellers. So the double drill guy, the chem thrower guy, and the pack leader moved up. Um, because of the way this mission structured, aerial deployment really wasn't all that helpful for me. I got these guys up here, which is nice, but then I just straight up deployed that guy. And then this guy had to be two cubes away from any of his guys, so he went there. Not great. Uh, and yeah, that's the setup. Let's roll our command dice and start killing each other. And I have the brand new super cool black command dice. Tried and true blue for me. Tried and true. I don't know if I need shoot dice too bad. Not if I need this one. I'm gonna get a little shoot. Love me some move dice. I love me some move dice. Oh jeez, we sh we fighting. Oh, yeah, you we fighting. You sure family. are. You sure are. You know we like to get the party popping right out the gate here. So the uh, pack leader is, for whatever reason, good reason I'm sure, is a two-three move model. So he's going to move one, quick boy, two, three. Oh man! And it will fit. Just imagine, just imagine the terror of that showing up behind you. Just a rat the size of a kiosk just <laughs> running up behind you. So that's the cube with my leader. I'm assuming you're attacking the leader. I have a homie in the cube, and my leader surprisingly fights on a four, so I'm going to be fighting you. No, she ain't no slouch, so I get five dice for charging and being bigger. She's tough as nails right here. No, she's not. Well, she got an eight. Hold your breath. One. Oh! I got frenzy one. Oh, baby! She brought that back from being absolutely horrendous to now just being dead. I am sorry. You're not sorry. Don't lie to me. Can I get another one, please? Oh, I wish you didn't. Anytime you feel like stopping. Uh, yeah, so there's three dice, there's three dice, so those go away. And then I have eight wounds, I think, so you're halfway <laughs> yeah, there. Eight wounds, that's a good model. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good, she's pretty tough. Uh, no, she, she dies. Right off the rip, and I'm assuming you're gonna play a fight dice here to fight the other dude. I don't want him to just get shot immediately, so he's just gonna chill with that guy in the model. He's, he's gonna have to Really? Okay. <clears throat> All right, blonde-haired guy is going to shoot a clear shot ski right at that nasty chem spitter guy. All right, I get five dice for the clear shot, and this is on five. Way to fire one. I get three dice on four. And here's a way to fire. Way of fire. Ooh. That looks like three to three to me. Game rolling on both sides. I'm going to move this guy back into this cube because we run him away a little bit. Uh, and that will activate him. I'm going to play an additional model activation and I'm going to use this ranger to shoot a clear shot at fan favorite. Everyone loves him. You know him. Old Mac the Knife. Mac don't dive like that. All right, so I got my five dice for the clear shot, and this is on five, so way to fire one. And I'm playing an extra dice command action because I got to. I mean, you gotta keep up. Nine on a five up. Oh, sheesh. Oh, Mac, oh. baby, come back. <laughs> no. Oh, well, you know what? You go after my leader, I go after yours, okay? You know what? So. Emotional damage! Sorry, gonna, folks at home. Mac, Mac ain't. Gonna wish he didn't. Mac ain't making plays this game. Uh. So that was a short action, and then for my other short action, he's gonna join up with the boys up here, and he's done with his activation. This nightmare with the gun, not the drill. <laughs> He's jumping, <laughs> leaping going, lizards. <laughs> is going to scooch up here by this lamppost, and he is going to clear shot. You got to be over here a little bit more, but yeah. That'll do it. He's going to clear shot that clown college graduate right here. Uh, I'm surviving on a five up. I'm shooting on a six. 
three dice because it burns. So I got one. I got one as well, so we are a warsh. However, I am now in a nasty chemical fire cube, and so when I activate, I'll have to deal with the fire. All right, my ranger with the guy, the guy pointing is going to turn his attention this away. So he's not the guy with the sniper rifle and he will be taking a clear shot at this crawler guy. Starting with my base of three, one for being on a cube above and two for the clear shot. Your boy's rolling on a five up with weight of fire. Yeah, five on a five, that's pretty crazy. One. Yeah, pardon me, sir. Weight of fire one was not <clears throat> successful, but the eight, that's another story. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. No. Um, so that was decent. It's a nine point model. Yep, and it's in the graveyard. Pick him up. I attack his life points directly. Point. The malignus is going to move one, two, find the kiosk, browse their wares, see that he doesn't like anything on the menu and turn his sights towards Bozo number one. So three dice on a five up. Same. I got two. We out here surviving. We're living, baby. I've got this veteran here. He's gonna go up one step and then he's going to take a clear shot at this guy looking at the vending machine. Five dice, one for being above, and two for the clear. Pachow! That is a way to fire. Nope. I can just pick them up. Oh, well, that was a really bad roll for me, but a way worse one for you. <laughs> Classic. Too busy looking for cheese its in there. Ooh. This crawler is going to sprint. One, two, and three into the noodle hut. Do not ask him what's for sale. I was gonna say they're not gonna pass the health inspection now. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Going to take this veteran over here and he's gonna take a clear shot down the line at more cheapo models. I am one cube above in the clear shot, so it's gonna be five. Oh, shoot. With wait, oh, foya. Oh, oh, and then knock two it eights. Off. Knock it off. That actually was not a good roll. I got two, and you got plenty. Lucky guy. Lucky, lucky, lucky. You gotta win some. Homeboy is going to sprint. One, two, three. Cubes. Gonna tuck in right here. I'm gonna attempt to activate here. So first off, because the cube is on fire, I have to roll to put it out. It's a survive test for me, and a four-up roll for the fire, or whatever you want to call it this time. All right, two to two, it is a draw. And because it's a draw, Survivor Guy gets to win, and he's going to move down here, and I'm going to take a clear shot at this goober right here. Three dice, base, two for the clear shot, wham bam. Not good. Wait a foya. I got two total. You got two as well. That ain't gonna do it, Chief, that ain't gonna do it. I'm going to play a move action and I'm gonna go back up here because I don't care. Smart. All right, the grenade launcher guy is gonna take a nice little moonwalk backwards and then into this cube where he can still see the top of the chem thrower dude's head and he's going to launch his grenade launcher at him. To do this, I need to roll one success because I have target onto the cube. I got it, and now we are going to do the frag effects. I've got my three dice for the frag. Looking like one. One hit for me, and what, three survives for you? I think so. So you're fine. <laughs> However, no matter what happens here, I get to scatter you. So we're calling this cube number one and this one number eight, going in a weird circle. I rolled a five. So one, two, three, four, five. We are now pinned on this nice little bench. What do you think of that? Nice soft landing. Taking a breather. Thanks for making them up one. I did it. <clears throat> yeah, essentially all I did is move you up one. That's not, not the greatest for me, but whatever. 
this malignus is going to move one, two, and he is going to shoot his little chem thrower at this cube again. This like, feels oddly familiar. It can't catch a break, but you know. Oddly familiar. Big survive here. I got an eight, and so I got two successes here. I also got two. So we good, but we are lit up again. What do you think of that? The sniper is going to play a move dice, so you can reposition within this cube over to there, which allows him to see down at that pinned nightmare guy. I'm going to take a shot with my sniper scope, and you know what? Let's just throw a dice in for fun. So that is three dice base, one for being above, two for clear shot, two for sniper scope, and one for good measure from the command dice. I have three. Noise. All right. But I'm sure to win because my fighting spirit is greater. Over a kill. This is not. This is not an anime. <laughs> I can pick. I can pick him up now if you want. Okay. I didn't need to burn the command dice, honestly. But mm. you know what? That's what. That's what it's all about, right there, baby. Overkill. No kill like no overkill. Cord. Okay. Good shot, sniper guy. Nightmare is going to sprint. One, two. Oh god, he's scary. Fortune favors the bold, and this guy wants some fortune. <laughs> I'm gonna jump down here with the veteran, and he's going to clear shot in a bold, noble attempt to kill that nightmare. Five ups, clear shot. You're just the worst, man. I mean, way to fire. Oh yeah, woo! I got one. I got one. It's terrible. You know, sometimes you do the yellow play and it works out. Sometimes you do the yellow play and it's god awful trash. Well, you've got my way. All right, I've been putting it off for way too long. Flamethrower guy is going to fight you. I don't care. Three dice, five up. Yeah, buddy. Oh no, come on. Why do you gotta? I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't have... lie to me. Did I do a frenzy one? You didn't yet. Okay. Oh, well, I, I got two. Okay. You got like five, so I do have eight HP. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I already did that joke. I already did that bit. We're we're, we're done here. We're we're, we're done. It's and that will conclude the end of round one. That was fourteen VP. Oh no no HP HP fourteen well, how many, HP. How many VP? He's a uh, fourteen HP. He has only one victory. Oh, that makes sense. That checks out. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what did he have? Yeah, he has one VP, though. And at the end of this round, uh, we had some carnage. We had some there pretty, some pretty decent carnage. So, yeah. Right out the gate, you went for my leader. I took it personally. I went for your de facto leader. Mm -hmm. So, poor Mac the Knife died, and then two cheapies and one more expensive guy, putting me at a total of five victory points. None of us got to the objectives yet. Uh, and then you are currently at three victory points because uh, my leader's worth two and flamethrower guy's worth one. Uh, the board is heating up, and now it's time to find out where this scavenger guy, guy scavenger guy goes. The block is rocking. This guy's got some stones to step into this one. Yeah, he's he's a bold player. Um, bold player. Where did they go? So to find out where our unlucky scavenger ends up. Uh, it's going to be black dice going this way and blue dice going that way. Randomly generated. One and eight. Okay. He just strolls on in from the corner. He's just hanging out. And so the way this works is basically if we fight this guy and you win the fight, uh, you basically capture all his stuff and you gain four victory points. And that's not great for me because I'm way over here and you guys are fast. And better at fighting. And all the above. Okay, let's roll some command dice in round two. Round two command dice, here we go. Give me something good. Oh my goodness. Bro, I can't stop with this stuff. <laughs> well, but now you're in fight range. I don't need that many. Yeah, no, I don't need that many extra activations either. He said while rolling more extra activations. Okay. That's crazy. Okay, well that's 
not ideal for either of us, but we'll make it work. Uh, it just occurred to me that I should only have rolled three command dice, so I'm going to roll a d8 uh, and treat it as a d4, and I'll delete that one, whichever one it is. So I rolled a seven, so I don't have this one anymore. It's very, very fair, I think. A big cheese right here. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> going to move. He's gonna moonwalk. Oh, he's gonna back. He's gonna back that ass. <laughs> he don't even gotta look at this guy to wipe him out. We nightmares. We fight on fours. I get five dice. One for charging. One for being bigger. Nasty. You have frenzy also, right? Because yeah, the double I got, drills. I got a few frenzies. I just got fighting back on fives because I ain't scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm definitely scared. Oh, I got a that wall must be nice. I am dead. Don't die so soon. I still got fight commands. Well, I died soon. We gotta do it while we, while we have a chance here. Uh, we're gonna shoot straight down at the pack leader with the sniper. So three dice base, one for being above, two for sniper scope, and it would be two clear shot, but no. This guy, this giant rat is stealthy for some reason. Yeah. So, yeah. Schuston. Oh my good gosh, okay. I got two, oh no, one eight, sorry. That's, those are sixes. And a seven. That's the sniper shot I'm talking about here, baby. That's the shot we needed. Yep. So he's on so, fives, so I got one. Seriously, he's on fives? He's on fives. He's oh, I was on. expecting fours. Because he's two HP. So, yeah, armor. Armor one. Armor one. And then, yeah, injure, injure, exactly what I needed. Clutch player. Oh, my God. Champion of the entire squad. The hero of the GCPS. The sniper guy. Go for it. The stalker is going to move into this cube with his combat knife. Give it the old run. scrap. Yep. I'm going to fight you back on five up. You get four dice on a four. There you go. I'm not fighting very well. Or am I? Show me eights. Nope. Uh, so I got one, which cancels that. I have armor one, but I'm taking an injury point. All right, I take a wound there. And I'm doing it again by playing a fight command. What do you know? <clears throat> one of your many. I have to. Let's do it again. So same exact thing, because you're not charging anymore, but now I'm injured. Oh, not the same exact thing. Your boy's coming out swinging. You just pissed him off is all, all you right, did. I'm going to use my combat knife. Four. four and four. Then it is an even fight. So he's locked up. Yep. This marine right here is going to turn around and shoot this guy at the counter. Clear shot style. Five dice with weight of fire. All right, I got two, and it looks oh, like yeah, you got two as well. So you are good to go, my guy. I'm actually gonna play move dice after that, and homie's gonna run around this to here, and he's gonna check out this item. Tim already knows what it is, but I don't. Nice. A little, little ammo. See if he ever gets to use it or if he gets annihilated first. This malignus is going to sprint like an absolute madman up here. And he is going to, not only is he going to stop sitting pretty on that objective, how long will we last? He's going to use a shoot dice and he is going to shoot at this old blondie down the road. Alright. Three dice, no play book. So do I. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I have an eight, I have another eight. I got shot to death. Real bad. Real <laughs> bad. I guess Jared Little from Fight Club is not gonna survive this battle. And you! You're too. veteran dude gonna hop down here and he's going to try to take a clear shot at guy at the counter see if I can hit him from the other side five dice five, five up wait oh foyer. oh and the eight and the eight 
Are you rolling dice too? Holy smokes. Are you rolling dice too? It's not supposed to be like this, fellas. Dude, this guy knows how to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Because I rolled really great, and you also rolled pretty good, but I have one on you, so it'll be one point of damage. That guy knows how to schmoove. He's the man Mac the Knife should have been in this game. <laughs> he's, he's living. He's, 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 he's taking the, he's taking taking the, the standard. Uh, I'm going to play my additional activation. And my ranger is going to skydive on down. Because he doesn't take fall damage with his jump pack. And he's going to fight this guy. I don't even care. That's going to be three dice base. One for entering the cube. And then one for you being injured. I'm on fives. On fours. Two eights, it looks like here. Looks like. Yeah, we gotta knock it off. This the guy rules. is crazy. Is he about to earn a name rules. this game? Oh he my might. goodness. Uh, so I did four, you did five. No biggie. You boys got armor. I got a fight dice. We're partying, man. I love these these dice dice rolls just going crazy in here. So this time I have four because you're just injured. I'm not. Oh shoot! Yeah, you have armor. I didn't injure you. Okay. I'm not parachuting in there. Now's your chance. You do have uh, combat blades though. No. Oh no, that. that's a one use, isn't it? Oh no, no, you don't. That's not either. Well, that's not good for you because my guy is a beast. Uh, yeah, he got four somehow. Nice, I got one shot. Uh, I mean, he can only keep up the hot rolls for so long. I was putting him through the, the ringer. Two clear shots, an injured combat. I mean, he, he really, really took some hits. And the witness is going to move down here and shoot this ranger, whatever the heck he is. He's a veteran. All right, I'm surviving. I'm shooting. Uh, well, you hit the cube. That's all that really matters here. So, uh, no wounds off the rip. Um, yep. Right? Because that's, that's not on fours, right? Okay. That's on your shoots, right? Yeah, yeah. The first one's on your shoots. Okay. So, he's <clears> on fire. We're going to activate this guy, which means we got to roll for some fire fire. Uh, you're on a four. I'm on a five. That wasn't good, but yours was worse. So, I get to activate as normal. I think, honestly, he's just gonna go in and fight. Because if I don't shoot him off the board, I'm in trouble. And I don't want to be in trouble. Let's fight. Alright, fighting on a five. One for charging in. I'm surviving on a five. I'll reroll that, we all know. Okay. Uh, I got two I here. Got none. Uh-oh. That's danger. He might be out like a lot. He's HP 2, no armor. Yep, one He's... injure, one dead. Boom. Oof. What a beast, man. I didn't think my guys were going to punch so hard. Or I didn't know you were going to fail so bad. That's more accurate. It's going to be three dice for me on a five. I got five on a six up. Oh, man. This guy's just out of his mind. Are you kidding? So here is the eight. Here's my weight of fire. Whoa. Four to three, Ooh. so he has armor. He does have armor one. That armor one is coming in huge this game. So he's gonna move in and we're gonna fight. Okay. And now we're scrapping. Uh, again, I get three dice on fives. What a monster. You got two. Okay, yeah, there's a chance. Yeah. Just the sevens. And just the sixes, so tie ball game there, and we're just standing, hanging out. Got him. Might as well use him. Waste not, want not. Big fight. I got two again. My guys. My guy out here just throwing oh, down. Got two. two to two. Okay, so we are out here just chilling. Hanging out, fighting over some noodles. You know how things how go. How it is, and... In, in the entertainment district of Magnetar, you know how it gets gonna, gets heated between teams. I was going to say lower downtown Denver, but <laughs> fair enough. Grenade launcher guy is going to attempt to activate here. So uh, that looks pretty solid for me. Very good. So he wins that, which means no problem. And I'm going to sprint one and two and fight this guy. 
I'll survive. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh man, that's just crazy. My guys are not actually good at fighting, despite what it looks like. So, looks like you did pretty well. Three or four. So, one injury point to you, sir. And my guy is activated. And lastly, Ranger guy is going to try to break away from the stalker. So, he needs to survive, and he needs to be better than that. <laughs> oh no. Well, you know, that happens from time to time as well. Yeah, it's good. That's, uh, that turns for a wheel. That happens from time to time. So he dies a most horrible death, a stabby, shooty, punchy death. And that will conclude round number two. What a round. So that is the end of round two. Uh, just a quick recap, I was able to maintain control of not letting you have that objective. This side of the board's looking a little better for the Veermen. Um, there was some more carnage, some more shooting. This guy showed up, but no one has really made a move for him yet. And the score currently is nine to six. And we've decided at the end of each round, it doesn't say this on the campaign website, but I think it's more fun if we do. Uh, this guy's gonna scatter. And since he's backed into the corner right now, uh, we're just going to do a D6, so this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. Tim, go for it. Let's see where he's running. So he's going up. 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 Yeah, he's, <clears throat> he's greedy. He's greedy. Scavenging. And that will be the start of round three. So three dice. There's your splat and stuff. Now that everybody's dead. Uh, I'm going to reroll the fight. I don't think I need that. There's a shoot. First of the game. All right. Your start, Tim. The crawler is going to use a move command dice, a sorely needed one, and move one, two, three, and four. Whoa. Onto this objective to fight this veteran and stay on the objective with the ranger. Three dice, five up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. Uh, I got two. I got four. Um, so my armor's going to soak up one of these, and then I am going to be injured. That is a win for that guy. This young man is going to sprint onto the objective. And cross his fingers if those giant drills allow it. We're making bold plays out here. Bold plays for bold players. We've got a move dice here. This fine gentleman with the sunglasses on is gonna go one, two, and he's going to hold this guy at gunpoint and see if he gives him all his loot. I've got four dice for entering on a five up. And you're on a four up. And that was spicy. You got him. I did it. I done did it. This guy drops all his cargo. He bails. And I get four. Count them four victory points. Yeah. Just some, just some hardcore violence I over here. Tough spot. He needs three more to win. And I'm actually going to see if I can get another one right here. We're gonna do a additional model activation and we're gonna fight the injured dude right here. So again, four dice. Cause you're injured this time. You survive, doesn't matter. I got three. I got none. You need to do more than none. <laughs> one, I feel like I've rolled that a few times today. Boom. Uh, that'll put me up to 14. Tick tock, tick tock. So, the crawler, he's gotta fight it out. Huge scrap, huge scrap. We take it outside. Where we roll that's cocked, we all know it. We got one. My guy's just a beast, oh. dude. That's just outrageous. Uh, so yeah, I got enough to kill ya. Here's your dad, yep. That's it for me. Sorry, bucko. Let's go to 15. No one left to activate. I think that's game. That is game. 
Unless I want to rub a bunch of salt in the wound, but I don't need to do that, do you? You know, I don't need to do that. So, looks like a GCPS victory. Clean one. Undeniable. What a game. What a game. Let's go to the post game. Thanks for watching. So, that was the game, and Steven, you know who you are. You got what you wished for. I got a sound thrashing. Um, yeah, that was... That was a painful game for me. Oh. I think yeah. that was a hard one to get. And, and I feel like it was like very, very command dice dependent. Had you got a few command dice that actually helped you out in the, in the first two rounds, like then I'm on the back foot the rest of the game. And, and that yeah. just never happened because you never got like moves or your splat yeah. or Act yeah. activations. It was. There are some dice, there are definitely some rolls that should have gone a little better for me. Um, I don't know if those like rolls would have changed the outcome of the game. Maybe it would have swayed it a little bit, but Tyler's Tyler's units were crazy. Some of those some of those guys I was I was pretty above average on pretty much everything I did because all my stuff is basically on like five ups and I feel like I was getting, you know, two, three hits every time on everything, which is a little better than it should have been and it really Yeah, came so there are some rolls but Honestly, I think I think it's a pretty fun scenario. I yeah, think the it's deep interesting. Strike, definitely interesting. Um, I think that I don't know. As a two three, as mo with most of my units having two three movement, I think that like I should have had an advantage. But your position, like just this, I don't know. Rangers. I don't know. What he's trying to say is Rangers and the ability to get onto that very top cube with the deployment was really good. And no matter which side, whichever deployment you got, I could have done that still, which makes it pretty powerful. Uh, the sniper guy was just picking off stuff left and right, like he's on a killing spree. Um, joke about calling a UAV. And there was really nothing I could do about it. Like, I tried really hard to get up to that tower to try and scurry up there but I mean it's height four yeah it's pretty tough like and then if you would have gone up to like height three there's a good chance I could just shoot you off of there and I, I don't know um, it was yeah it was an uphill battle for sure um yeah I think if you were able to close that distance a little bit earlier utilizing a splat that you never got or utilizing command dice like moves that you never got I think it would have been a very different game um but yeah I just I love rangers man rangers are so versatile they're so good. The, the the fives across the board doesn't seem great until you realize it's good enough. Being Especially able. against lower armor stuff like this. I, I think they struggle against like really tough targets like Forge Fathers and, and Enforcers and stuff, but like against generic little dudes like this, I think they, they do a good enough job that it's not too bad. The weight of fire makes up for yeah. a lot of it. Having the option, I think especially in this game, to shoot or fight really like strategically like I had some options where like with my malignus like they fight on sixes yeah that's so, actually like, one of the reasons I take veterans instead mm -hmm. of regular marines is because there's a lot of times where that happens where it's like you you want to do <clears throat> some sort of combat where you feel like decent about actually going in and actually doing something and I feel like if you're on a five you can have some confidence you're going to do something but if you're on a six it's like don't even bother it's not going right. to happen but, yeah, I mean, it's always a pleasure to play with you, man. So it's, it's always fun. It was good. I, mean, yeah. I had to get some revenge for the last firefight game. You know, that Persecutor Bomber, I'm still there seeing we go. in my brain. There we go. So I forgot. I forgot already. No, you didn't. I'm a humble guy. I forget my victories. But believe me, I remember my defeats. Every single one. I'm just kidding. It was fun. Um, it was good. Honestly, when's the last time we played Dead Zone? Not too, too long ago. We, we too played too long. on the, on the big one months. with the, uh, yeah, definitely a couple months. Definitely so. a couple months, so it's definitely good to be back. It's Yeah, so everyone else should go get involved. This, it's, this is the best time to play Dead Zone. Everyone in the world is going to be playing, so do it up. It's a lot of fun. Check the website. I'm sure there's going to be new stuff coming out. By the time this comes out, I'm sure there's probably already new things coming down the pipeline, so check it on out. and. I thought the little addition of the, the random scavenger was kind of fun, just because it added that sense of randomness. We really didn't know where he was going to show mm -hmm. up. I mean, had he showed up like right next to 
your guys over here that were good at fighting, you know, that's like a quick four victory points, and then it's like a really close game again. Um, but yeah, you just didn't have enough confidence with that Malignus to go over there. He just, I could just sense him whiffing. Oh yeah, just felt it in the air. Oh yeah. He gave him another opportunity to whiff. He took full advantage. He sure did. But yeah, so I mean, as far as that campaign goes, chalk one up for GCPS. Scratch one for Veerman. Saving Magnetar. One small section of buildings at a time. I guess. I don't know. I don't have any loyalty towards any of the factions. I like them all. True fan. You know. But that's going to wrap it up for us this time. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and keep rolling eights. Thanks, guys.